So I thought I'd do a quick kind of overview of a bunch of projects that are going on in the Lego room. Um, it's a little bit of a mess right now, and I thought about cleaning up first, but I thought I'd just show you it just kind of as it is, um, as projects are going on. Because, you know, as you've seen from my updates, I jump around a lot, um, just waiting on parts and stuff. And that's so, I, I thought I'd kind of walk you through kind of what's going on, what I'm kind of waiting on, uh, where some of these things are going. Because um, I'm going to definitely be moving some stuff around the Lego room here in the next couple weeks, um, just because of some stuff that's coming in. And so I thought we'd kind of just do a little tour of it as it is now. Um, and then, so when I go to reference this later in projects, you'll kind of get an idea of what things were and why they're moving and all that. Um, so let's, uh, kind of start working our way around the Lego, around the Lego room. Um, we'll talk about the Lego city, some of the display things I got going on, um, and some of the coming changes. Hopefully this will also kind of give you a sense of the size of the room that I got. But anyways, I have a, uh, new Alex set of drawers. So one of these drawer sets coming that's going to go here. So Harley's going to need to find a new place for his bed. He never actually lays there anyways. So I um, need to find a new home for that. But um, another Alex set of drawers will let me really get my part storage kind of finished up. Um, I've been slowly kind of working it out. I've got four sets already. Um, and I got a lot of it kind of worked out. But I really need that uh, fifth set to space things out where I, where I actually want to. Because this one is a lot of slopes. And I need to sort that out a little bit better. Because it's just kind of a mess. And I just don't have enough places to go with things. Um, so uh, the fifth one will go here. And that will hopefully uh, get me along most of the way for my part storage. Um, which is, this is bulk that needs sorted. Um, that's ocean stuff, beach stuff. Um, my lighting stuff. I think this is more bulk to be sorted. Um I'm going to pull these curtains down. So I have this shade here. Um, so, cause this window does get direct sun in the mornings. Um, but I think the shade will protect the Lego enough. And I hate this situation right here. Um, so I think I'm going to pull these curtains down, um, just to kind of open up this corner a little bit more. Um, up here is where I want to work on getting my flora and fauna sets kind of displayed a little bit nicer. I would like to get some little, cabinet lights to stick in there um just to kind of really finish that little section out um i have the two or i have three of the newer ones to fit in there that have not fit in there yet um and just needs a little bit of shelvage and stuff to kind of get that cleaned up a little bit um but I like it kind of keeps it all that type of stuff in one little area um and you know there's just a lot there and i think a little bit of light a little bit of stacking will make that awesome um we know the status of this. I'm just figuring out what to do on kind of this side. And this is getting really close to kind of being done. Um, this this whole middle section of the city needs just kind of cleaned. Um, but, you know, it's mostly there. It just needs cleaned and some minifigs set up, some, some little scenes made and stuff like that. Um, and so uh, my desk is a mess. It just needs cleaned up. Again, just little projects happen everywhere and just things get thrown everywhere. I especially need to kind of clean this area. This is kind of like a catch-all of stuff. Um, and so it just needs kind of cleaned up. Uh, and I would like this shelf to be kind of like my like little niche of like favorite things or fun little oddities, uh, which it kind of is already. But um, definitely I like to put a couple more little oddity things up here that I have. And this up here is currently just some like miscellaneous projects, some backlog stuff. Um, I'd like to actually put some display type things up here, which is kind of the next little part. I, I would actually like to put some of the ships up here maybe, um, or some of the trains, because currently my extra trains are just in a bucket and I would like to have them out somewhere. So that needs to have something done with it. I just don't know what that is quite yet. Um, it might also just become more storage cause that's also a possibility. Um, oh, also behind here, this just needs to find a new home. Um, this shelving unit has a bunch of kind of, uh, random project boxes. The, um, you can kind of see there, there's just a bunch of kind of random project boxes back there that I like to keep there, but I need to find a better home for them. Um, okay. So, the next kind of really big store, not storage, display project is this is going to go away. 
Um, I have, I, I liked this solution, but I also don't like the solution. And my biggest problem with this solution is that it's so far like up that you have to really kind of strain to see. Um, and so I'm actually going to move these out to my living room on the wall above my couch. Um, in much the same way that brick, that brick like scavenger has, uh, lines of figs on his, on, on his, on his wall. Um, that's what I'm going to do with all of these. And so that opens up this shelf to actually, I think is going to be mostly dreams stuff. And so I kind of, these two dream sets sitting here, but I have a lot of dream stuff over here and obviously I don't have all of it. And so I would like to get all of the dream stuff kind of up there. I think that in one like nice, neat place, um, I can maybe do a little bit of scene type things up there. Um, uh, put like nightmare on one end and not nightmare on the other end. Um, I think that will be super fun and just kind of a nice colorful pop of pop of color above this. Cause obviously this is cities, mostly kind of city colors, but I think having a nice fun pop of color up there would be great. Um, speaking of city, this kind of area is on hold because right here is where brick cross is going and that should sit ship, um, next month, November 1st, I think. So, um, this area is ready to get brick cross and you can see it's already actually kind of like set up to just take brick across, um, just waiting on that. So, um, that's kind of that area, but it's also become kind of a collect all because it just is a blank open area. So I'll be excited when that's not there anymore. So I stop just like sitting stuff there. Um, but, uh, you can see mess ships just everywhere. Um, I, I need to find something better to display up there because that just looks like trash, to be honest. Um, I don't know what, but it just needs to be something a little bit more organized up there. Um, and then this is kind of a mess right now because I'm waiting on some lighting parts to finish up the two modulars that go back there. These two. Um, I was shorter on some cableage. So um, that's what goes back there. So I'm just waiting on that to get that closed up. And then which means this can get closed up and then I can work on this. So it's kind of a dual stage thing because I need to be able to get into my little access hole to reach back there. Um, and so I need to wait for that. Hopefully that will be here in the next week or so. Um, and then I can get that finished up pretty quick. And then what that also means, though, is that this entire side of the city will be lit, um, which I think is going to be awesome. So I'm very excited for that. Um, just need to wait on some parts. And then... This is going to be a project unto itself. Um, again, I have some of the parts for it, not all the parts, because I kind of commandeered some of these parts to work on the forest area. And so um, I just need to wait for some more parts and some more funds, really, um, to get the parts to finish up that. Because also part of that project is making this more solid so that this could possibly travel to a um, show. Uh, and I think it's very doable. It just, it's going to take a little bit of time and some parts. Um, this update will be tomorrow or next couple of days. There'll be a video specifically about this, but obviously this is out of place, but this is the only place for me to be able to work on it. This thing is huge. It's massive. I'm super excited. That's a whole nother video. Um, up here, I'm actually really kind of happy with this for the most part. Uh, I'd like to maybe do something a little bit better with the Simpsons and Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. Um, but I don't quite know what that is. Um, maybe that's what needs to come over here. Um, and then I could put the Simpsons either above or below all the extra figs. Um, so that might, that, that might be that solution is to go over there. Um, oh, I didn't talk about this. Uh, so I have Jabba's sail barge coming and I need to find a home for that. Um, hoping maybe there. But uh, we'll see. That'll be the first UCS set that I actually build. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, this is kind of catch-all of stuff, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too upset about any of that. Um, this, I have dreams of being a great, like, Winter Village shelf setup. Um, and it's kind of there. Not really. It's just kind of all the parts are there. Um, someday, maybe next year, maybe, maybe, maybe next year for Christmas, I'll have that all set up. Um, definitely is not going to happen this year for Christmas. I can promise you that. Um, this is also, again, this, a lot of this is, looks a little bit messier than it actually is 
just because of this project has taken over all of the areas to just move stuff around. Um, but uh, the beach is actually getting there pretty quickly. I'm excited about that. Um, the boardwalk area is getting there as well. This area is not lit at all. So that will be, um, honestly, that might be kind of a next year project. Uh, after the first, of the, the first of the year, I'll start to get lights over over here when this is a little bit more stable. Um, you know, I like kind of what's going on here, but I'm not sure exactly about placement and some other things. Um, obviously, there's a new modular coming too that I need to find a home for probably somewhere in, in here. Um, I need to get what's going on back here kind of worked out. Um, so there's a lot of things to kind of figure out here that this is kind of like okay for now, but um, not to the point where I'm ready to sink a bunch of money into lighting stuff because I just don't know if it's all going to stay there or not. Um, working our way around, I have my last little kind of books and stuff, and that stuff I think is going to find its way upstairs somewhere um, so that I can use these all for Lego, Lego display stuff. Um, this is my little bit of my sealed collection and a little bit of backlog. Um, I do have plans to do the Ninjago City thing. I don't know where that would actually end up. Um, I don't think I, I, you know, part part of me would love to put it up here, but I don't think there's enough clearance room. I don't know how tall some of those buildings are to know that it would be enough clearance. And then it runs into the same problems of the CMF is that it's kind of a strain to look at up there. Um, so maybe not up there, um, but this is my, kind of my box storage. I can't store things on the ground because I sometimes get water, although I think that problem is mostly fixed. Um, so I don't keep a lot of boxes, but I do keep some boxes. Um, so that's also my box storage and then my sealed set storage. Um, ship storage as well. I would find somewhere better for that. Video is going to stay here. This is all going to stay here. This is, I'm hoping someday to do a little like Wizard of Oz mock down here. Those are all my flying monkeys you can see in various different parts and stuff. I'm thinning the herd a little bit on that, but, um, you know, there's a lot there to be thinned. Um, and so this is kind of video, which is fine. And then, like I said, I would like to find somewhere else to put this dream stuff because I like this to be Fabuland and Animal and Animal and Animal Crossing. Um, Fabuland here maybe, and then Animal Crossing the bottom two shelves or something. I don't know. But that's kind of my dream would be to get the Fabuland and Animal Crossing stuff over here. Um, and then this stuff somewhere more concise and better. It's a little too, um, the shelves are a little too narrow for a lot of the dream stuff. Um, little whatnot, leftover stuff, all kinds of things like that. Um, printing, whatnot, selling stuff, which honestly I haven't sold whatnot stuff in a long time. Should probably just get rid of that, but, um, we'll see. This is my Bricklink store. Um, and then lots more bulk to be sorted. This is also kind of storage of parts and things. Um, most of this middle row is my gray stuff, um, which there, that's one of the drawers that's out right now. Um, so I kind of like that, but ideally I would love to get one of the tall Alex cabinets to put here and put all this stuff into one of those. Um, it just is a little bit easier to deal with in those, but um, this works for now. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the state of things. Uh, so there's some stuff that's going to be moving, some stuff that's going to be staying, some stuff that just needs cleaned up, and lots of things I'm just waiting on parts. Um, this is going to take a metric ton of slopes. I need to wait on getting parts. I need to figure out what I'm doing back here, but I need to get this done or more done so I can work on this. Um, I need to get some lighting parts to work on this. And then the uh, Black Seas Barracuda goes with this. Uh, my goal is to have the Black Seas Barracuda coming around here and maybe like shooting some shots at the fort as it's coming around the corner. Um, so I need to get some wiring put in there. I need to get parts. I need to get lighting stuff, all that um, for that process. And then also getting that kind of bulked up. That's also why the Armada ships just kind of sitting up there because that's actually going to be docked at the um docked at the fort here but obviously i don't obviously the fort's pulled out so i can get to the access hole and all that um so a lot of it is just kind of stuff's moved for other projects at the moment but things are moving along um so hopefully uh i think the i think the next video will be talking about this project 
and the details of that. I'm very excited about that. Um, and then we'll be bumping, we'll, we'll be jumping around to a couple different things as parts come in. Again, I'm just kind of waiting on parts um, and pieces and things like that. So um, that's it for today. I'm going to I'm going to clean up this room because I don't have anywhere to even work on Java Sail Barge right now. So um, thanks, y'all. Make sure you like and sub, like and like and sub, like and subscribe, and stay and stay tuned for some more stuff. Thanks, y'all.